What to do guys, Macho Man here, and today we're going to be unboxing the officially licensed wired controller light for PS4 by Hori. It is just a wired PS4 controller. It's ergonomically sized for more of a child than an adult, and as you can see with the ergonomics are a little different, but the entire controller, for the most part, is represented here, aside from, I think, headphone jack, light... I think that might be it. I think some of the sensors might not be in here as well. So let's take a look. Pretty simple image. Not too much going on on the back, at least that I can read. Although here, we can see some compatibility, I assume, for the first generation PS4, the Slims, and the Pros. So it's compatible all across the board. Looking at the back, there's not much I can actually read. So we're just going to have to take it for what it is. It's a wired controller for the PS4. There isn't much to be said, and this box is falling apart. Okay then. So the first thing we have here is the instruction manual, which is a lot bulkier than it probably has any right to be. Oh, dear. Oh, there's a lot to it. Oh. Wow, this this really goes in depth. Like, like I don't even know what this like. Oh, I think this is this. I think it says like touchpad, so you can mimic the touchpad. I think that's what uh, this is. So you mimic the touchpad by pressing uh, the up button, and then you move the left, maybe the right stick. I don't know. You you move them to the representing your finger presses on the pad. So let's take the actual controller out. I got the white one. There is a blue one available in the States and a red one as well as a black one overseas. So very simple. Very small. Although the cord length is actually pretty sizable. That looks like that's going to be pretty nice. And it feels plasticky on the stick. I was expecting some rubber. Not the biggest deal. It does have R3. This is touchpad, so you kind of press that and then you do stuff here and that kind of mimics touchpad. Since the touchpad here is very small and I think that's only a button. And it is a button at least. Buttons are rubber. At least these are. Normal buttons. Plastic. What do you expect? We do have both sets of shoulder pads. They don't feel the best, but... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. D-pad feels like it leaves a lot to be desired, going to be honest. But uh, I think the whole point of this is for younger hands, smaller hands at least. And it is at least ergonomic on the back, so it's not just flat. For sake of comparison, here is a DualShock 4, your normal run-of-the-mill controller on the PS4. And here's the, uh, what is this, the Mini? It, in America, it's called the Mini. Here it's called, what does that say, Wired Controller Light. So it actually isn't all that much smaller than a standard controller. In fact, in some respects, okay, you can't really see it here, but I want to say in some ways it's a little, it's a little thicker at least. As far as the width here goes, I think it's a little bigger. And certainly the uh, length here, it's about the same, but... When you add the, the handles on the normal controller, it does end up being a little shorter. And of course, the height is very different because we took out a chunk of girth from the sides to make this kind of fit. And I'm wondering how well this is going to work. Uh, you know, I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but I've used this on day one or a version of this. I think this would probably work for something like a 2D fighter, side scroller, something like that. Okay, so I was trying to think of a good game that utilize the touchpad, and not just pressing it, but uh, moving it in directions and swiping. And while I couldn't think of too many, in retrospect I can think of a few more, I realized Warframe was a pretty good option for this. So to do your special moves... Oh, this is gonna suck, because I... The location is returning to normal security levels. Oh, this sucks, because that guy thinks I'm gonna play and I'm not. Okay, so what you need to do 
and it's going to be a little awkward to show, but once you're in the correct mode, once you're in the correct mode by holding this button for a few seconds, two seconds it says, you move that direction and then you push in. So let me see if I can go back into it. One, two, three. Okay, it looks like I'm back into that mode because I cannot move with the stick in a situation where I was just able to move. So I'm going to move forward then push in. Oh darn, got me out of it. Okay, so I'm going to... Should have enough. Alright, if you heard that, I think a minute. Yeah, I don't have enough. So... <laughs> It wanted to do the thing, but I don't have enough uh, energy right now because I just wasted it all. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you do it. And it does actually work, which is kind of neat. And then I think after a while it just times out. So yeah, it technically works. It's a little weird and convoluted. I wish they would have just put a touchpad in here if they're going to go that far. But I mean, they did go through some trouble in implementing a sort of function to do the touchpad. Which, I know the PSTV has something like that where you press in the button, the L3, R3, because otherwise a Vita or even a PSP, but mostly Vita, doesn't have that button. So they gave it the touch function. So this is very similar to that, but not exactly. But it actually works, and I'm glad. And there's no headphone jack on this thing, so if you want to chat, you're going to need a separate headset. I gotta say... This would probably not be good for a shooter just because you don't have that range of, of you know, shooting in like little bit, little bit, lot versus, are you shooting? No, you are shooting. There's no in between. Same for racing games. For any games that need that kind of gradient or kind of in between kind of control, you really don't want to do that. But for maybe a fighting game where it's either, did you press that button? Yes. That's fine. You want that. Yeah, maybe maybe you prefer that. So it might be good for that. RPGs, although some do kind of get into weirder mechanics. Well, guys, this has been my unboxing of the officially licensed Wired Controller Lite for PS4 by Hori. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams of both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and consider donating. That's all for now, guys. Manjame, out.